If you broach the topic of illegal immigration, you're very likely to hear some sharply divided opinions. These facts, however, no one would really argue about. In 1986, as a result of the Immigration Reform Control Act, 2.7 million of the undocumented into this country were given legal residency, most of whom became, went on to become citizens. Of those 2.7 million, over 2 million were residents of the state of California. In addition to that, during the past 25 years, more illegal immigrants have entered into California than any other state in the nation. Currently, California has far more illegal aliens than any other location in the United States as well. As a result of this mass influx of people into the state of California, coupled with the higher than average immigrant birth rate, Los Angeles, if it were to be turned into a separate state, would be the eighth most populated state in the country. Let me put that into perspective for you. LA has more people than the states of Rhode Island, Montana, Louisiana, and New Mexico combined. And the last two facts with which almost no one would take issue are these. First, California has about 15% of the country's population, but almost one out of three people who receive welfare in the United States live in California. Second, California has a state budget deficit every year that is well over twice the size of any other state's budget deficit. So, the questions are really these. Has illegal immigration been good for California? What's your point? Did the 1986 immigration amnesty help put us on solid financial footing and make this state a better place to live?
Well, what are the honest answers to those questions?